in the blink of an eye, September had started. And while everyone seemed eager to start decorating their front porch for autumn and Halloween, I really wasn't ready to let this summer go. And what do I usually do when I want time to slow down and memories to not fade? I journal about it. Hi everyone, this is Carlo and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I created a summer nostalgia themed journal of my summer in Algarve on the coast of Portugal. If you, like me, are a summer child or simply want to celebrate your summer memories, in this video you'll find a lot of ideas to capture that sense of excitement and nostalgia and put it in your journal pages. I started preparing my insert and I sketched a few possible layouts for the pages. As always, I wanted watercolor illustrations to feature in this journal, starting with a show-stopping first page. I remember the long walks that we had in Faro along the cobblestone streets, and I decided to paint these mosaic pavements. I sketched the pattern, enlarged it, traced it with tracing paper, and transferred it on my journal. These fine liners of Pigma Micron by Sakura are incredible, not only for their flawless work on paper, but also because they are 100% waterproof, and you can use a very wet watercolor on top of them with no risk of smudging. I started first defining the bricks inside the pattern, and slowly I worked to fill in the rest of the pavement. I have a new super gorgeous watercolor set and I was very excited to use it on this project. So I mixed the three basic shades of my illustration and I worked section by section, letting every layer dry before applying the next one. On the first layer I blocked the overall color, but with the second I painted in detail every single brick occasionally tweaking the concentration of the pigment, which gives the illustration a more 3D effect. Always remember that the white in your illustrations is almost never a total white, so don't be scared to kind of dirty it up with some diluted shades of grey, yellow or blue. Once my mosaic was complete, I decided to create a semi-transparent sleeve with tracing paper to apply on top. So I cut the paper to size. I wrote the title on Canva using a nice font, printed it and transferred it on the sleeve with a silver metallic gel pen. This is a uniball signal. So that it will shimmer when we tilt the journal sideways. And I really liked the final effect. The key element of our summer journal are of course our photographs, and to give them that feeling of nostalgia I prepared photo collages on Canva, adding these borders and frames from old photo film, which instantly bring you to another era. I saved them as images and printed them, and for every page that I will create I will decide if keeping those frames and borders or cut them off, based on what I need in the moment. I want to show you also how to make another decorative element, some little collage luggage tags. I found these craft ones in Flying Tiger, and we're gonna decorate them using cutouts from travel magazines. I decided to use acrylic gesso to give a coat on the tag and make it resemble a rustic wall. While the coat is drying, I chose the portions of paper that I want to use for my other tag. I went for a color scheme that reminds me of an amazing beach we've been during our holiday. And that's what I suggest you to do for your journal. Recreate color schemes that remind you of places and moments. When the acrylic gesso is dry to the touch, it's time for me to cut the image of my tiles and apply it on the tag. It's already lovely as it is, but I'm going for a further application of gesso to make it more rustic and vintage. 
Of course, these are only two ideas, but you have endless possibilities to make these paper tags your own. You can use metallic pens to circle the hole on the top and also attach a little cord or string if you like it. So now we have enough elements to start our first journal spread, which will feature our photographs, our little tag, and I'm gonna prepare a collage background using magazine cutouts again, to visually bind the two pages of the spread together in a creative way. Collage is one of my favorite techniques ever. It doesn't require a high level of skills, and it's very personal. Also, it takes us back to childhood, which is a moment when we are free to create without self-judgment and stupid structures. So I recommend if you feel intimidated by drawing, watercolor, you maybe think you are not a great sketcher, you can always use collage to add a visual element to your journal and the result will be equally lovely. In the next pages I kept combining watercolor illustrations, photos and collage elements. On Ilia d'Armona, we saw these luxuriant bougainvillea plants, so it made sense to include them in my journal, this time as a simple angular frame to the page. I went back to pavement mosaic decoration on my pages dedicated to Albufeira. Albufeira is such a fun city with a very busy beach and it holds a lot of memories for me, having been there already a few times in the past. This time, for my photographs, I went for a classic Polaroid structure, which allows you to also write a caption under them. Talking about adding a feeling of nostalgia to your journal, a great idea is to incorporate scraps from old book pages. I chose two nautical themed books to decorate the pages dedicated to a fun boat tour that we had along the coast of Algarve. I have three easy and fun ideas for you now. For the first one I need three circular objects of different sizes. I use them to draw circular shapes on my book pages and cut them. I will combine them on the page later to add a visually interesting background. Another use of your old books is just cutting entire illustrations and also entire pages to use as a wallpaper for your spread. Portions of text are another element I love to incorporate into my journals. It can be a word, a phrase, an entire poem. When I have a lot of photos to include in my journal, I like to make a kind of a gallery wall style page. Here I started creating a nice background with the round shapes and cut illustrations, which will help binding the whole composition together. Then I added my photographs, alternating formats and different frames. The pieces of text are a fun way to kind of caption the photos or add references to your holiday, still keeping the vintage and nostalgia theme strong. The secret when you create a journal of this kind is to keep a cohesive style, possibly using two or three techniques and media only, but with variations, to keep things interesting. In this Algarve journal I focused on creating well-curated full-page watercolor illustrations, and also little ones on a rougher paper, to use as little postcards, alternating them with collage elements that could also shape the space where I would add my journaling notes on the page. My summer nostalgia journal of Algarve is finally complete, and it's time for a little flip through for your eyes only.
I hope you liked the tips and ideas in this video. As always, let me know in the comments below and feel free to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. This was me, Carlo, and until the next video, take care.